So as this violence continues to rage on, the question that everyone is asking is, when will this war come to an end? Now, Arab states have called for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. But Israel continues to drop bombs on the Gaza Strip. What has complicated the situation is that nearly about 200 Israeli hostages are at this moment held by Hamas in its custody. American President Joe Biden spoke with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman about the situation in West Asia. Now, Biden has affirmed that the United States fully supports the defense of U.S. partners and the two leaders reportedly agreed on pursuing broader diplomatic efforts to maintain stability across the region and to prevent the conflict from expanding further. At a presser event following the United Nations Security Council discussions, Susan Tehrani inquired with the Saudi Foreign Minister Faisal bin Farhan al Saud on a potential ceasefire and also its complications with the current hostage situation. Listen in. From Weon, what is the response for those who say that a ceasefire is only possible until the hostages are released? And thank you for doing this. I mean, a ceasefire is a humanitarian imperative. We are facing a desperate situation in Gaza right now. We are facing an impending humanitarian catastrophe. Every hour we speak, more civilians in Gaza are dying. More people are getting injured. The situation is getting worse. A ceasefire is an absolute necessary necessity immediately. That will allow us to address all of the other issues. We have called quite clearly for a release of hostages, and that is absolutely necessary. But the protection of civilian life, the protection of infrastructure, especially hospitals and other uh, uh, infrastructure required for the survival of Gaza is also an imperative that must be met immediately. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.